Welcome to our review on generating and distributing electricity. First thing we need to understand then is how we get the electricity that we use in our everyday lives. Now, depending on where you live in the country, then you are going to have different things generating the electricity you use because we can generate electricity with different energy sources. The majority of the power stations in the United Kingdom are thermal power stations, and these use an energy source to heat water. Now, that energy source is, in most cases, going to be a fossil fuel, but it may also be nuclear or biomass. Now, the way in which this works is just a very simple little flowchart to remember. So the first thing that actually happens is we have our furnace where the fuel is going to be burnt. That generates heat which then produces steam from the water. That steam drives a turbine. The turbine spins the generator. The generator makes the electricity. Now, what we also find is that steam that we've used in our turbine doesn't just get released into the atmosphere as it is. That gets sent to a cooling tower where the steam is then cooled down and condensed back into water where it then goes back into the furnace once more. So we're not having a very wasteful process here. The electricity we've generated is then transferred to the national grid and then transmitted around the country. So remember that process, the fuel's burnt in the furnace, water turned into steam, steam drives the turbines, turbines turn the generators, generators make the electricity. We do need to remember though that in our power station, not all of the heat energy is gonna be transformed into electrical energy. We will also waste a significant amount by transferring that heat energy to the environment and therefore that's wasted energy to us. Now we can actually calculate the efficiency of any process using the equation there. So the useful energy output divided by the total energy input and we times our answer by 100 to give it as a percentage. So if you had a Sankey diagram like the one at the bottom there, our total energy inputs 100 joules, our useful energy output is 40 joules. So to calculate the efficiency, we would do 40 divided by 100 and times that by 100, so it'd be 40% in this case. Once we've generated this electricity in a power station, we obviously need to transfer it to all of the different places around the country that need electricity. And we do this through something called the national grid. So what we've got in that diagram then is a little summary of this national grid. So we've got our power station first of all, that energy then goes into a step up transformer, which increases the voltage to 400 kV, okay, kilovolts, or 400,000 volts if you prefer. It's then transmitted through these high voltage electrical pylons, which you've seen all over the country. And then once it's gone through those, it gets to a substation where it goes into a step down transformer and the voltage is then reduced to either 33,000 volts or it will be 11,000 volts, depending on where it's actually going. It's then transferred from the substation through underground transmission lines, so this is in towns and so forth, onto either factories where it will use the higher voltages, or to another substation which again has a step down transformer, and that takes the voltage down to just the 230 volts, and that's what we then get in our homes.